Welcome. In this video, we will explore the Zrander command, a powerful tool in Linux for configuring display outputs. This command helps you manage and adjust your screen settings directly from the command line. So what exactly is Zrander? Zrander, which is short for X resize and rotate, is a command line utility for the X window system. It allows you to dynamically configure display outputs without needing to restart your X server. This means you can adjust your monitor settings on the fly. The key features of Zrander includes the ability to query current screen information, configure multiple monitors, change resolution and refresh rate, and rotate and position displays according to your needs. Let's look at some basic commands. To display the current configuration of your screen, Simply type Zrander in the terminal and press Enter. This will show you all connected displays and their current settings. If you want to list all available display modes for your connected monitors, use the command Zrander followed by Query. This shows detailed information about connected displays and available resolutions. Finally, to check the version of Zrander installed on your system, type Zrander, version, and hit Enter. Here's an example of what the output of Zrander command might look like. The output shows the screen number, minimum and maximum resolutions, and details about each connected display. For example, HDMI 1 is connected and is the primary display, running at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It also lists the available resolutions and refresh rates for that monitor. Disconnected displays such as DP1 and VG1 are also listed. Now, let's see how to change the display resolution. To set the resolution for a specific display, use the commands Rander followed by Output, then the name of the display such as HDMI1, followed by Mode, and the desired resolution, like 1920 by 1080. To set the resolution along with a specific refresh rate, add the Rate option followed by the refresh rate in Hertz, such as 60 Hertz. To designate a particular display as the primary one, use the commands Rander, Output, followed by the display name and the Primary option. Configuring multiple monitors is where Zrander really shines. To extend the display across multiple monitors, use the following command. First, set the primary display with Zrander Output, for example HDMI 1, and specify its mode. Then for the second display, like DP1, set its mode and use the right of option to position it to the right of the primary display. If you prefer to mirror the displays so they show the same content, use the same as option. This will clone the primary display onto the secondary display. With Zrander, you have several options for positioning your displays. To position a display above or below another, Use the above or below options respectively. For example, to place DP1 above HDMI1, use the command with the above option. Similarly, below will position the display underneath. To position a display to the left or right of another, use the left of or right of options. These commands allow you to arrange your monitors in a configuration that suits your workflow. Zrander also provides options to rotate and scale your displays. To rotate a display, use the Rotate option followed by the desired rotation, normal, left, right, or inverted. This is useful for different monitor orientations. You can also scale the display using the Scale option, followed by the scaling factor in the X and Y dimensions. For instance, 1.5x1.5, will scale the display to one and a half times its original size. To return to normal scaling, use 1x1. To make your Zrander settings persistent across reboots, you can create a script containing your Zrander commands. Save this script, for example, as displaysetup.sh, make it executable with the command chmod plus x, and then add it to your startup applications. Alternatively, you can add the script execution to your .spro file or to .zinitric file in your home directory. This ensures that your display settings are automatically applied each time you log in. 
Also, there are desktop environments that also have startup application settings. You might also want to consider using Autorander for profile-based setups. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.